I would like to <clears throat> begin today's broadcast by looking at a Bible verse. We'll first start with a Bible verse, and I hope this will be the first of many broadcasts in where we take a Bible verse and we examine it, and then we look at what's going on in society and the world, and we compare. Today we're going to be talking about Edward Bernays, who wrote the book Propaganda, a very interesting piece. We'll also be looking at the scripture verse, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. I'm going to read it to you guys. It says, Be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And what that verse is talking about is that we need to be transformed in our mind. And it's very interesting when you look at society and marketing and public relations and everything and how it's manipulated. That's what I want to briefly discuss with you guys today. <clears throat> Edward Bernays was the original propagandist, and he wrote this book, Propaganda. And basically, he was the original marketing guru of public relations. Originally, public relations was termed propaganda. They had to change the name to public relations, and that term was coined by Edward Bernays, who wrote this book. If you want to research further, I suggest you get this book. Again, it's Propaganda by Edward Bernays. I suggest you look at it and learn. Anyways, as Christians, we need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, which is very hard with the marketing that goes on in current society, selling sex, drugs, etc., etc. It is very difficult. And what we need to realize is this is all done on purpose through marketing. Let me read to you from Edward Bernays' book, uh, starting on page 37. Let me read this to you. The conscience and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is a true ruling power of our country. We are governed, our minds molded, our tastes formed, our ideas suggested largely by men we have never heard of. And if you just read through his book, it's extremely interesting because he talks about you know, manipulating people and how it works. And what you have to realize is every marketing thing, every second a commercial comes on television, it's all <clears throat> to manipulate you to buy products. Some of it isn't so bad, some of it is good. What we have to realize is Satan uses this to control and to mold people because he doesn't want them to be focused on God. We have so many distractions coming at us left and right. It's just crazy in this world, you know, just so many different things going on. We just have to be really wary as Christians that, you know, a lot of this is done on purpose to distract us. You know, consumerism, just getting caught up in buying products and, you know, just being distracted by that or, you know, Madison Avenue wants you to be distracted and not to look at the real issues and not to look to God. They want you to be focused on Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera or whoever. Whoever is the latest. Lady, Lady Gaga is probably one of the newer ones. But, you know, they just want us distracted on the mindless crap that really doesn't matter. And what really matters is this word of God right here and making a difference in the world. There's just so many things going on, you know, just to consume our minds. And we have to realize this. It's all done on purpose. It's all a distraction. We just have to look at that and just try and make a difference and make a change. Let me read to you another page out of Propaganda. On page 61, it says, There are invisible rulers who control the destinies of millions. It is not generally realized to what extent the words and actions of our most influential public men are dictated by shrewd persons operating behind the scenes. Skipping down. A man buying a suit of clothes imagines that he is choosing, according to his taste and his personality, the kind of garment which he prefers. In reality, he may be obeying the orders of an anonymous gentleman, tailor in London. To me, that's extremely interesting because it goes to show that a lot of our tastes are molded, placed in our minds through marketing and other such things. As Christians, we just have to be really careful and we just have to look to the Word of God. You know, just pulling out of society the whole marketing, buying products, buy this, buy this, buy the latest of this, you know, do this, do this, do this. What we don't have to realize is it's all pointless. And what it comes down to is at the end of your life, can you look back and say that you did something to make a change, to make a difference? You know, as Christians, that's what we're called to do. And I know it's so hard, I struggle with it myself, but making a difference and making a change is so worth it. And just understanding and researching, if you can research people like Edward Bernays, there is a documentary, uh, I believe the BBC did, about his life. And it was really interesting to see like how he got women to start smoking, like he started that. And again, he came up with the term public relations instead of propaganda because it was negatively associated with Adolf Hitler and the Germans. Um, 
You know, just looking at that, there's just so many things that we can do to make a difference, to make a change. And let's just do it. Let's just get out there. Let's just realize. I encourage you to research. Read your Bible. Get into the Word of God. The more you take in Scripture, the better off you'll be. And just looking at life. There's just so many different things that try to distract us. When there's so many things we can be doing, like helping people. Instead of buying products. And I know we all like to buy the latest and greatest of this, this, or that. But we just have to realize that it's all pointless. And it's all going to burn. You know, you should take care of your family and everything. Be prepared in case something bad happens. But don't be caught up in consumerism. Realize that it's there on purpose to distract you. And again, the Word of God calls us in Romans 12 too, to be not conformed to this world. And we must remove ourselves you know, from this as much as possible. Try not to be distracted. And uh, <clears throat> for more research, more interesting things, uh, check out InfoWars.com. I also recommend khouse.org. There's a lot of good Christian resources out there to help you. So just get in the Word of God, research, and find out what's going on around you. Make a difference. Make a change. Because tomorrow, you might not have it. Thank you. God bless.